Okay guys, here is my Super Cub LP made by Hobby Zone. Uh, the last time you saw this uh, this plane in one of my videos, it had the stock brushed motor in it, uh, which is right here. Um, I took that off and I upgraded to a brushless motor, which I'll go over um, in a few minutes. Um, inside the Super Cub, uh, first thing I did is I upgraded, I used to have um, uh, S75 E-Flight servos in here. Um, they work great, um, but I just wanted to go with something a little cheaper. Um, these are actually 9 gram SG90 servos from HobbyParts.com. Uh, $2.77 each, so you can't beat them. Um, and they're pretty strong for this uh, this application uh, since this is such a light lightweight plane. Um, I got an AR500 receiver in here uh, made by Spectrum. The ESC is actually from my uh, Airfield 57-inch um, wingspan P51. It's a 45-amp ESC. Um, I think it's perfect for this application. I was thinking about getting an Exceed RC 40-amp um, speed controller, that, the same one that I have in my uh, Airfield Cessna. Um, but this one I had laying around, so I, I figured I'll just uh, reuse it. It's a 45-amp uh, ESC. Uh, way in the bottom, you can't see it, but I have a, um, a Hobby Wing uh, external BEC that I'm using. It's a switching BEC. Uh, it's the same one from my last video that I made, um, so I just uh, kept it in there. Uh, works great. So on the outside, um, I have an Exceed RC Alpha Series 480 motor. It's a 1020 kV motor. Um, same company, HobbyParts.com. And this was, I think, a $16 or $17 motor. It's the same motor that I have in my Airfield Cessna, uh, so it's a pretty powerful motor. Um, the motor mount I bought from uh, Custom RC Parts. Um, I think this was um, probably one of the most expensive items in my upgrade. <laughs> this is uh, um, 20 bucks, but it's well worth it. And this thing is exact spacing, and it fits in the stock holes of the stock um, the stock uh, motor motor. Um, uh, mount and it's I highly recommend it. it's uh, it's amazing so um, anyway I, I kept the the prop that I was using last time it's a GWS direct drive 10.6 prop um, since these upgrades I cannot use the stock battery okay the stock battery is only a 15 C discharge 1300 milliamp battery so um, I think it's capable of safely um, discharging about 18 amps um, and this my prop motor um, ESC and battery combination um, pulls uh, 28 amps at 337 watts so it's pretty powerful um, the battery that I'm using now is a Skylipo 2200 milliamp 20C battery it's a 3 cell uh, this battery I think was um, less than 15 or or uh, $12 at HobbyParts.com. This is awesome. Um, in fact, if you watch one of their videos, I think these are the batteries that have the aluminum um, or some kind of a metal plate on both sides, the top and bottom, so it kind of prevents from uh, from punctures and keeps it a little bit safer. Um, and these batteries are awesome. they got great reviews. So um, That's it. Uh, it's pretty powerful. I wouldn't recommend flying full throttle all the time without... Um, you know, uh, reinforcing uh, certain things. If you are going to a full speed dive and you pull out of the dive, um, you're probably going to break something. So, uh, just a word of caution there. Um, so, and the other reason I, I love this motor is, um, let's say you're going to overshoot the runway and you want to, you know, get some good power to get over some trees or something. Um, with the stock setup, it was kind of iffy if you're going to stall or not. Um, but this motor just takes right up into the sky, and uh, and it's a uh, it's definitely, definitely um, um, a great upgrade. And this plane, out of all my other planes, this plane is still my favorite plane to fly. Extremely stress-free. Um, as you know from my other video, I added the ailerons. One other thing that I forgot to mention um, earlier is when you go with this motor mount and this motor, um, the, the motor uh, fits perfectly in the motor mount, by the way, but one thing you have to do is enlarge this hole to a one-inch diameter. Um, the website where I got this uh, this custom RC parts uh, motor mount will tell you that if you read through the instructions, you got to enlarge the hole to one inch. Okay, and uh, I think that's about it. If you have any questions, 
uh, please don't hesitate to ask them. Thank you very much.